Elf Hero's adventure continues. Despite the return of peace to the enchanted forest after Zorlok's defeat, it seems that a dark shadow is rising once again. Ilara and her friends embark on a new quest to confront the dark entity lurking in the depths of the enchanted forest. However, this time their enemies are stronger and more dangerous. The elf heroes must unite to face the darkness and protect their forest, embarking on a challenging journey. Are you ready for this adventure filled with darkness? In the enchanted forest, where the lush green leaves sparkled in the sunlight and vibrant flowers bloomed, peace prevailed. The elves, tasked with maintaining the balance of the forest by living in harmony with nature, However, this peace was suddenly shattered one night. Ilara, a brave and wise elf who was one of the guardians of the enchanted forest, had a dream that troubled her. In her dream, the enchanted tree had withered and the forest was engulfed in darkness. Ilara was aware that this dream was a warning. Early the next morning, Ilara rose and went to the enchanted tree with the other elves. When they saw the condition of the tree, Ilara's dream was coming true. The elves were filled with panic and fear. They didn't know what to do. When Ilara saw the enchanted tree, her heart sank. The once lively and vibrant leaves had withered, and the branches were covered with black spots. The heart of the enchanted forest seemed to be writhing in the clutches of death. Ilara recalled the dark vision she had seen in her dream. The enchanted tree had withered, and the forest was engulfed in darkness. The terrifying feeling she had experienced in her dream now engulfed her entire being. This dream was a warning, almost like a prophecy. Ilara consulted with the wise elves and sought their help. The sages revealed that the source of the illness was a dark entity dwelling in the depths of the forest. This entity had begun to gain power after Zorlok's defeat and was seeking to destroy the enchanted forest. Ilara's concern grew with each passing minute. The enchanted forest was more than just a tree. It was the home of the elves, the heart of nature, and the source of life for all creatures. If the enchanted tree were to perish, the forest would also perish and the world of the elves would be plunged into darkness. Ilara knew she had to do something to save the enchanted forest. She had to find a way to defeat the dark entity and restore peace to the forest. But how? Ilara began to devise a plan with her friends. They decided to journey into the depths of the forest to confront the dark entity. It would be a dangerous journey, but they had no other choice. Before setting out on the journey, Ilara spent a night alone, sitting beneath the enchanted tree. As the cold air brushed her face, many thoughts ran through her mind. Her family, her friends, all the creatures of the forest, and the enchanted tree. They were all in danger. Ilara couldn't hold back her tears. She was ready to do everything in her power to save the enchanted forest. She would do whatever it took to defeat the dark entity and bring peace back to the forest. Alara and her friends went to meet with the elf sages one last time before deciding to confront the dark entity to save the enchanted forest. The wisdom and guidance of the sages were crucial for them in this challenging adventure. Alara briefed the sages about what they knew regarding the dark entity. The sages emphasized that the dark entity was very powerful and defeating it would not be easy. They advised Alara that she would need a special power to defeat the dark entity and that she must find this power within herself. The wise ones gave advice to Alara and her friends. They should not lose their courage. Throughout the journey they would face many challenges, but they needed to keep their courage and faith. They should trust each other. They needed to act in unity and solidarity, supporting each other. They 
should live in harmony with nature. They should draw strength from nature and protect it. They should not close their hearts to darkness. Dark forces would try to frighten them and break their hopes. However, they should keep their hearts filled with love and hope. Ilara and her friends listened to the advice of the wise elves and said they were ready to embark on the adventure. The sages blessed them and wished them success. Ilara and her friends set out towards the depths of the enchanted forest. They had embarked on an unknown adventure to confront the dark entity. Throughout the journey, they would face many challenges, but they would not lose their courage and faith. Trusting each other and living in harmony with nature, they would do their best to defeat the dark entity. Ilara and her friends embarked on a long and challenging journey into the depths of the enchanted forest. The journey lasted for weeks, even months. At every step they encountered new difficulties and dangers. Each of Alara's companions possessed unique powers. Kael, an elf known for his sharpshooting skills and harmony with nature. Lyra, a wise elf with healing and magical abilities. Ryan, a powerful and brave warrior elf. As Alara and her friends continued their journey into the depths of the enchanted forest, they reached the borders of the Silver Kingdom. The Silver Kingdom was one of the ancient allies of the elves. Ilara and her friends hoped to seek help from the queen. Upon entering the kingdom, the elves were stopped by a group of silver-armored knights. The knights asked who Ilara was and why they had come to the kingdom. Ilara spoke of the dark entity threatening the enchanted forest and requested aid from the queen. The knights escorted Ilara and her friends to the presence of Queen Anya. Queen Anya was a wise and just ruler. After hearing Alara's story, she understood the danger facing the enchanted forest and agreed to aid the elves in their battle. Queen Anya provided Alara and her friends with a unit composed of the finest knights of the Silver Kingdom. This unit would protect Alara in her fight against the Dark Entity and provide assistance. With the support they received from the Silver Kingdom, Ilara and her friends continued their journey towards the Enchanted Forest. However, the Dark Entity's army was growing stronger by the day. The elves knew they needed more help. Their next stop was the Kingdom of Giants. Giants were powerful and resilient beings. The elves believed that giants would greatly strengthen their fight against the Dark Entity. The journey was long and arduous. The elves traversed mountains, crossed rivers, and journeyed through wild forests. Eventually, they reached the borders of the Kingdom of Giants. Upon entering the kingdom, the elves were stopped by the giant guards. The guards asked who Ilara was and why they had come to the kingdom. Ilara spoke of the dark entity threatening the enchanted forest and requested help from the giant king. King Grohl, upon hearing Alara's words, became angry. He argued that the giants did not need the elves' help and could defeat the dark entity on their own. He rejected Alara's requests and expelled the elves from his kingdom. Without losing hope, the elves departed from the kingdom of giants. As they continued their journey, they realized they would have to fight the dark entity alone. But Alara and her friends would not give up. They were ready to make any sacrifice to defeat the Dark Entity. The Elves, along with a group of knights from the Silver Kingdom, left the Kingdom of Giants in despair. They still needed to find an ally to fight against the Dark Entity. At the same time, they needed to understand who the Dark Power was and what its goals were. As they continued their journey, Alara and her friends encountered a group of fairies. Fairies were mysterious beings living deep within the enchanted forest. Alara reached out to the fairies in hopes of gaining information about the Dark Power. The fairies told Alara that the Dark Power had long been threatening the enchanted forest. This power sought to destroy all life in the forest and to 
disrupt the balance of nature. The fairies informed Alara that she could not defeat the dark power alone. She needed to seek help from different kingdoms and beings within the forest. Ilara and her friends were moved by the fairies' words. They understood that they needed to come together to fight against the dark power. They decided to visit different kingdoms and beings within the forest. They would seek help and gather information from each kingdom and being. However, the threat of darkness was growing with each passing day. Without wasting time, Ilara and her friends set out to call for help from different kingdoms and beings within the forest. They decided to split up, with each of them going to a different kingdom. They believed that by spreading out over a wider area, they could gain more allies and gather information about the dark power more quickly. On the day Ilara and her friends set out towards different kingdoms to save the enchanted forest, each of them felt a mix of excitement and anticipation. Their paths were filled with different landscapes, scents, and sounds. With a wise smile, Ryan progressed towards the kingdom of wizards. Kyle, moving swiftly like a shadow, headed towards the kingdom of spies, while Lyra followed the sounds of nature and the melody of the wind towards the kingdom of healers. Upon reaching the kingdom of wizards, Ryan was surrounded by high towers, sparkling stars, and cascading magical lights. Here, millennia-old wisdom and magical tradition thrived. Ryan met with the most experienced wizards and received advice on how to resist the dark power. He also learned new spells to enhance his powers. When Kale reached the Kingdom of Spies, he stepped into a realm filled with lush forests and mysterious caves. This kingdom was where the most skilled scouts and spies were trained to observe their enemies and gather information. Kyle learned the cunning traps of the scouts, discovered the secret gathering techniques of spies, and developed new strategies to monitor the movements of the dark power. Upon stepping into the kingdom of healers, Lyra found herself surrounded by the embracing warmth of nature and the healing breezes. This kingdom was a place where nature priests and healers used the power of nature for healing and protection. Lyra strengthened her connection with nature, learned traditional healing methods from the healers, and discovered natural antidotes against the poisonous effects of the dark power. Each of them shared the knowledge and skills they gathered from different kingdoms upon their return. When they came together, there was a hopeful smile on their faces and determination in their eyes. However, could the information and skills they acquired protect them against the dark power threatening their world? It seemed like a force beyond even Zorlok. This new enemy emerging after Zorlok's defeat possessed a power that transcended kingdoms. Could the dark entity Alara saw in her dream be just the beginning? Perhaps Zorlok was merely an agent of this dark power, and the real danger was represented by an entity yet to reveal itself. This mysterious entity lurking in the depths of the enchanted forest was filled with powerful dark energy, and its intentions were unclear. There was only a dark suspicion about who it was and what it aimed for. However, the threat of destroying the enchanted forest emerged as the greatest danger the elves faced. Ilara and her friends were determined to unite and fight against this mysterious enemy to protect the enchanted forest. However, without fully understanding what they were up against, they needed more information to comprehend the true intentions and power of the dark force. Lara and her friends began to discuss unraveling the nature of the dark power. However, suddenly, a dark shadow emerged from the forest. A figure hidden among the shadows slowly revealed itself. This figure was a symbol of cold breath and dark threat. Lara and her friends felt the true power of this dark entity, and a sense of fear crept within them. The mysterious entity spoke quietly. 
You little elves must understand how powerless you are against my might. Even if you were to unite to protect the enchanted forest, you are no match for me. Ilara and her friends hesitated in shock before the mysterious entity. Indeed, they realized they stood little chance against this dark power on their own. The mysterious entity began to recount its deeds in the land of giants. I laid waste to the land of giants. Despite their strength and resilience, they were helpless against my dark power. Now, it's your turn. After these words, the mysterious entity paused for a moment, and then quietly disappeared, melting into the darkness and vanishing. Elara and her friends looked at each other in astonishment and horror. Learning of the entity's power and the devastation it brought to the land of giants deeply shook them. War was imminent, 